much for clicking on this video. Today I'm gonna teach you how I do these curls with a flat iron. That's it, flat iron. Before we begin, I have amazing news for you. I'm doing a giveaway with all these products that you see here on the screen that are so, so amazing. But if you don't want any, any of these products, I can exchange it for $60 cash. And the best thing is that this giveaway is completely international and it's so easy to participate. So the steps are, number one, you're gonna subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell. Number two, you're gonna subscribe to my Instagram account, which is at Stefania Briella. And number three, you're gonna look for this picture on my Instagram account and you're gonna tag three friends, three real friends, no famous people or companies or any of that. And that's it, that's super, super easy to participate. And you have a lot of opportunities to participate I wish you the best of luck to all of you guys now let's begin with this video and let's teach you how I do these curls with a flat iron before I do anything I always like to apply heat protectant all over my hair and I spray it you can use any but this is the one that I decided to use today and I also like to apply a little bit of oil, it could be any type of oil, it could be argan oil, but I think with the heat it helps penetrating into the hair and it shines a little bit more. This is the one that I'm using today and it smells delicious. Then I section my hair in half and then in little sections so I can work it better. And before I do anything with a flat iron, whether it is curls or straight hair, I always like to blow dry it first. My hair is naturally curly, but it's like messy curly. So I like to blow dry it a little bit so I don't apply too much heat with a flat iron on my hair. But this is completely up to you. It's completely optional. Also, if you decide to do hair extensions with your curl look, I like to do the curls on my hair extensions first. So I take the hair extensions this way and I hang it on a regular hanger with hair clips so I can do the curls on it first. Then I take little pieces. I usually do like four sections per hair extension. So the, if you're working the right side of it, you grab the flat iron, you warm up the top a little bit so you don't create any crease and then you flip the hair and the flat iron on the opposite way. If we're working the right side, we do the curl to the other side, as you can see. Then you slide it down slowly and gentle. Don't put too much pressure with the flat iron. Slide it down carefully and slowly and make sure you curl all the way to the end. That's the main important step so you can have a good curl. Then if we're gonna work the other side of the hair extensions, we warm up the top, same thing, it's just that we flip it to the other side. So if we're working the left side, we flip it to the opposite side, as you can see, and you slide it down slowly, not putting too much pressure, all the way to the end, and then you have a curl. Boom! Once we're done with all our hair extensions, we go ahead and we divide our hair horizontally and clip it. We're gonna section our hair in two halves, remember, left and right, because we are going to work the directions of our curl. So if we're grabbing one section of our hair, in this case it's my right side, and then I warm up the top, and then I flip the hair and remember to grab the end of the hair with the other hand so you can help do the shape and slide it down slowly and don't forget about the ends. That's extremely important. You're gonna hear me say this over and over and over but it's all about practice. Boom, we have a curl. When we go to the other side, it's the same thing. We go to the left side, my left side, warm up the top so you don't create any crease. You know when sometimes you do a curl and it creates like a crease, it's very, very ugly. So you warm it up before you twist. Go down, 
all the way to the end and boom another curl right there once i have this section done i like to put my hair extensions my first set and then i move on with another section of my own hair and then i divide it in half again and we basically do the same thing over and over again until we finish with the whole hair and you see I'm trying to flip the flat iron as well as as I'm going down I'm, I'm not only like going down slowly but I also try to flip the flat iron at the same time if you pay attention you will see so that way it's like going on the same direction as the flat iron or the curl is going you see where I start with a flat iron and then I curl it, I twist it as I am going to the end. This front side of the hair, I always like to keep it free because I'm gonna work it until the end. And then I just move on with my other hair extension set and moving on to the top of our, my hair. And then moving on to the top of my hair, which is the most important one, is the one that everybody's gonna see. And as I said, I always like to leave my front hairs to the very end until I finish everything. This is what I do at the end, end, end. When, when I go to my final part, I grab the hair the same way as everything. It's just that I like to start the curl from the very top all the way to the end. I want especially this side of my hair very, very curly because it's gonna open up my face and I want my face to be completely cleared and I want my curls to be like a window, you know, like opening my face and not covering it because sometimes you do curls and it comes to your face all the time. So I start from the very, very top. Same thing. It's just that I start from the very, very top and I wanted it very, very defined. Then when everything is all ready, here you have it. <laughs> and then I like to separate my curls. I kind of brush it a little bit with my fingers because I like to open them up. I don't like them to look way too curly. That's my personal preference, but it's completely up to you. If you want... If you want it to look like very very curly just leave it but I like to open them as you can see so I have a more fresh and natural look at the end I always like to apply hairspray because it's gonna help me hold the look for a long long time you want to look pretty the whole day or the whole night and I come it a little bit on the top and boom here I have the look I decided to change my shirt and change my earrings just because I thought it would look better but this is the final look and here you have it curls with a flat iron huh I also like to do like sideways hair not all the way to the middle so this is it for the tutorial today I hope you really like and you try it at home it's the only way I know how to do curls on my hair Don't forget that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway this month and the next month So it's super super easy to participate Don't forget that I'm gonna be doing a giveaway I'm gonna give out these products that you see on the screen I really really love all of these products I use them personally But if you decide that you don't need them Don't worry I can exchange it for a $60 cash and this giveaway is completely international and is super 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 easy to participate number one you're gonna click subscribe button and you're gonna hit the notification bell number two you're gonna follow me on instagram at stefania briella and number three you're gonna find this picture on my instagram profile and you're gonna tag three of your friends like your friends no famous people or uh, companies account and that's it i wish you the best of luck to all of you guys and this is it for today thank you bye